Well, welcome back to the 700 Club. It's time for Bring It On, where okay. Pat is going to answer your questions. You ready? Oh, go David for it. David starts us out. And he says, this is an interesting question. If Jesus is the only way to salvation, then what happens to everyone who died before his death? Uh, the Bible says that during the time he was in the grave after his crucifixion, before he rose from the dead, that he went and preached to the captives. And uh, that's in Peter, and that's all we know. So the idea is that those people were given a chance to hear the gospel. All right? Okay. Constitua, oh, God bless your name. I wish Const I could get your name. Constitua. There, sounds good. <laughs> she says, I just gave my life to Christ recently, and I've started to have spiritual dreams. In these dreams, God sometimes reveals to me a lot about other people. Am I allowed to share these dreams with other people? And I don't want them to think that I'm making this up or that I'm a freak. If, you know, if I'm allowed, how do I start? Well, if I were you, I would hold it to yourself until you verified those things because mm. you can scare the daylights out of people. <laughs> and there isn't anything worse than somebody coming, God told me about you that you're going to die in three days. Oh, did he? <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, I know exactly what you yeah, mean. Just keep it to yourself until you verify your track record. And then you can begin selectively to say, Lord, should I tell this with people or not? All right, go ahead. Okay, next one's from John. He says, Dear Pat, what is your Christian view on the menorah? Is it uh, the true symbol of Israel? Well, it, it, it is. It's a, it's a, it has uh, biblical roots, and it's the flame in the uh, uh, tabernacle. I mean, it's, it's a good thing. And I, what is my view? I think it's a wonderful symbol of Israel and the flame and the branches and the candlesticks and all that. It, it's the, read the Old Testament. It's there. All right. What's Next one. That? James says, what is your opinion on a three-day fast? I understand it's supposed to bring you closer to Christ. In fact, I'm going back and forth with this because I'm praying for full body healing since I have numerous health issues. My faith is strong and I believe my healing will come in time. Would this be something you believe would be beneficial to, you know, prove my faith? Um, I've said on this program from time to time, I, I do have a lot of experience with people who are experts on uh, health and nutrition and things like that. Um, but I'm not a doctor. And I, I just don't think that, uh, you know, an extreme fast may be good for your health. Uh, you know, my friend uh, uh, who's a cardiologist, Chauncey Crandall, uh, is real high on uh, fasting. So fasting is good for your body. It cleanses it out. Uh, but nevertheless, I, you know, you've got health issues. I, as a, Talk to your doctor, and I'm not the one to answer that question. All right. Okay, next one. Debbie says, I helped a friend's uh, family by quickly loaning them $4,500 when they were desperate to move into a rental home. They assured me that they would repay me soon. Well, listen, that was over two years ago, and they never even acknowledged the debt. They're still having hard times. Am I wrong to remind my friends of this debt? I mean, I know I should. we should help each other, but I feel taken advantage of. Oh, um, I have said repeatedly on this program you are not a bank. <laughs> you are not a bank. A bank is set up to process loans, to collect loans, to levy on security of loans, and you're not. On the other hand, if somebody comes and they've got a need, by all means help them in the need, and then it's a gift and forget it. And now that's what's happened. That money is gone. So let it go. Ask God for more. Turn your mind onto something else. Otherwise, it'll drive you crazy. I belong to a little tiny ministry in New York that had been cheated out of a few thousand dollars. And every time we had a board meeting, they brought up this little bit of money. And it was just ridiculous. It, it, it was a stumbling block that prohib prohibited this organization from moving forward. Mm -hmm. So I, if I were you, let it go. And if you get paid, hallelujah. If you don't get paid, hallelujah. God's got plenty more. Okay? Amen. All, All right. right. Well, Jen says, hi, Pat. Sometimes when I pray, my mind goes somewhere else. You know, I think of other things going on in my life. Here's the deal. Is the devil trying to distract me? I need to d concentrate on God. Help me. Help me, she says. Well, uh, no, it's not the devil. It's, it's us. Uh, our mind flits around, uh, you know. We see something and the mind goes to that and so I, I see a spot on the wall or there's a bug crawling on the ceiling or the lights out or there's a, you know, something, something, something. Uh, you just have, I recommend reading the Word. I recommend praise. 
talk to God. I praise you, Lord. I love you, Lord. And I mean, vocalize what you're doing and let your whole body give itself in praise. But if you're just there saying, oh, God, <laughs> and, you know, you're all about it, your mind is going to go in other directions. That's mm -hmm. the way our minds are. Mm -hmm. So it's not the devil. All right. All right. I think we have time for one more. One more. You ready? Arnold says, I love music and I'm planning to get a record deal to help my family with financial debt. My parents don't want me doing music because they believe singing jazz and blues is not church related. I still go to church every day and in fact, or every Sunday because I love church. What should I do? I really need to know if I should quit music or not. Absolutely. Don't quit. God's given you a talent. Say unto the Lord a new song. They yes. rejoiced in the dance. They rejoiced in music before the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord with singing and dance. I mean, that's the expression of people. So, you know, let those expressions come, come forward. Now, some of this stuff is nasty. I, I think in, in, the, uh, in India, the people were saying, why are they calling on the, de on the demons? I mean, they were playing a, you know, heavy metal rock music, and, and these P Indians say, well, this is the kind of music we do to summon demons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, you don't want to get into that. All right. I'm with you. None of that bumping, Praise the Lord and do not give up your talent. It doesn't have to be organ music in church. No way. Amen. Well, remember, if you have any more questions for Pat, all you have to do is log on to CVN.com or call the number. Well, just log on to CVN.com.